Today we're gonna to be chumming my dock for 72 hours with tons of fish, chum, and anything we can find to see if we can bring some epic sharks, barracudas, stingrays to my dock. Let's get into it. Three entire days of chum. Our giant chumming session that we're gonna do, we're gonna chum for 72 hours. We're gonna chum for three we're pre fishing. Days. Yeah, we're gonna chum this off for three whole entire days. This is day one of chumming the dock. So, what we're gonna do is throw in this beautiful chum chum block here. Look at this thing. Because I've been seeing some stuff swimming around the dock. So, we want things to be attracted to the dock for three straight days. That and is then so disgusting. On the third day is when we're gonna throw in the big barracudas, the big baits, and try to catch stuff on the third day is when we're gonna do that. So, let's get this first chum block in the water 72 hours out from the chumming. I cannot believe I'm touching this thing at the end of the day. Jack, you already touched it. It's going right on Brooke's steering wheel too. You guys ready to see this thing? That is a block of dead fish that unfortunately I have to touch for three days straight. So this is actually gonna be my easiest job so far because when we get to that last day when we're throwing those kudas in and really the Hail Mary, it's gonna be not... <laughs> I'm bleeding. All right, slide this puppy in the trap. There we go, she's in, she's in. So now all this chum can get exposed, but the big fish can't, you know, actually take our chum block away from a different area because we want all the chum to sit right here at the dock. Day one of chum going in the water. Here we go. Down to the bottom. These fish are going to be feasting for 72 hours straight on just some love and goodness. These fish are going to get real dang fat. We'll see you guys tomorrow with some more chum. Well, it is day number two. It's been over 24 hours since the first chum block and check it out. This is entirely gone. Now, I don't know how good this footage is gonna be, but I saw some epic stuff. I came out here on my phone. After about 12 hours, I came back out to check on the chum block and I saw a nice big cuda swimming all around the dock. So first fish spotted after about 12 hours was a nice cuda hanging around. I tried to catch him with Rob, but it was way too hard to film and try to catch him at the same time. So he spooked, but that was only after a couple hours with the chum block in the water. We already had some big fish showing up. I'm sure there were sharks around at night, but now we're on day number two of chum in the dock and I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled throughout the whole day. I'm gonna check on this chum block to see if I can see anything cool because chum and they will come. So let's get our chum, our second chum block of the 72 hour period in the water. Let's see if we can uh, get some fish to the dock. Ready? Guarantee you at least some kudas in a couple minutes. I'll check on this periodically and hopefully we got some fish there. Guys, it's day number three now. First two days were just like the small period of chumming to get everything to the dock. Now we go balls to the wall with the big boys. Buffalo shades on. Buffalo shades on. Acquired. It's we, the big day. Yeah, we got big barracudas, bonitas. We got everything you can think of. We're gonna throw it all in this dock because I've been seeing some sharks around recently. And we're gonna hope that we can bring one to the dock today. If you guys wanna see how we caught these giant kudas, make sure to go check out our last video right there where we caught some monsters on a new spot we found. But let's get into the chumming part. My favorite part of the time. My favorite part of the time. My favorite part of the time. <laughs> My favorite part of the time. Look inside there, dude. We have so much dead fish. This might be one of the biggest chummings we've done, this actually. Is, and it's been 72 hours, guys. Literally. We're throwing out our third chum block of the 72 hour period. We have two giant kudas. Look at all this. One big, nice jack. I think we have two jacks in here. A small jack. <laughs> Three bonita carcasses. Where was the third one right here? Look how bloody those things are, dude. These are my favorite baits. There's nothing better than a fresh, bloody bonita. Look at that in there. You can literally move the juices around. So bloody, dude. So bloody, that's a money maker right there. And a pack of sardines. That's that a is a freaking barrel of dead fish. A good chumming right there. Let's do this thing, ladies and gents. It's time to break out the big guns, the big boys. We're gonna go ahead. I think we really start big. I think we go all three bonita carcasses in the water. Look how bloody they are. They're the most defrosted, as you guys can see, some of these, these are pretty rock solid. So we're gonna have to hold off on those. Actually, no, that thing's pretty good. But we got a bunch of sardines, all this stuff. I think we go ahead, we rip, we rip and grip right now. Incisions, you gotta face it. You're gonna get bloody today. You're gonna get dirty. You really are. I want Papa Shark here, not Mama. I want Papa today. Look at that thing right there. Let me so poke bloody. the eyes. You gotta poke the eyes, cause if you don't poke the eyes, these things will float up at some point, also break up their stomach a little bit, get all the air out. They'll float up at some point and they're gonna reek it up. So let's go ahead and throw this in the water. First big piece of chum. 
full bonita. Look at that, all that blood just came off. That is so damn good, I love that. Hopefully the sun comes out a little bit when it's above us in the midday so we can really see in this water. Cause right now we got a little overcast situation. Get some of this juice in there. Mm, you know, that's like, that's like the secret sauce right there. You order like a chicken tender, right? But where's my barbecue sauce? And this is the barbecue sauce right here. Really? Or the ketchup, yeah. Dude, I don't think this is gonna take long today. Something's telling me the gloomy day. It's just spicy, let me get more chum in here. I'm gonna work on our third chum block of the 72 hours. This is our third chum block, three days in a row of the chum block, each time completely gone. So yeah, I use gloves, guys. Don't get it twisted. I eat with these hands, okay? Look at this, we got a little bonus. This is what they probably caught it on. That's the bait they used, little tiny pilchard. Yeah, that's nice. This guy's eating. All right, here we go, number two. See you. Down, down, down she goes. Let me get the ketchup. There's our third chum block. Toss her in three days in a row. These fish should show up rather quickly. Ketchup inbound. Barbecue. Yeah. There we go. There's just a part of me that really gets a big enjoyment out of doing this. I know. Just like cutting fish up and just calling big fish. I don't know. I, I specifically wore my big fish energy shirt today. I had my cut the plastic clean. I had my vitamin C clean. I said no. I'm going, I'm going big fish energy because that's, that's the type of energy I need today. And while we're chumming guys, do not forget to check out the brand new shark edition hats, the fish guy shark jaw hat. Check them out. They're brand new. We just dropped them last week and they are going quick. So if they're not sold out already, go shopfishguy.com and get yourself a hat. Bonus number three. Here we go. Wee. So look at that sun out. That's what we want. That's what we want. All three of them right there. We got one, two, three. Now the good part about having them in whole is Chris has a major catfish army here Man. and they will come and anything small, all of them will come and they'll eat everything or they'll just take it out into the middle. So if you throw like bigger chunks, those bigger chunks can sit around because we want all, have pretty much all of our chum in one area. If we have chum over there, over here, over there, you never know where those big fish are feeding. They're gonna get a little scared coming close. So if we keep everything right in this area, we can keep a sharp eye out and see when something arrives. All right, the number one thing for success today is going to be prepared. We already got one bait ready. Little sardine, Jack comes by, you fire this thing. If big Betsy, big Bertha comes by, you gotta have something worth her time. So I'm gonna cut this thing just about down the middle, like that, just like that. Perfect. All right, this is our this is our big wad. Dude, that's a big bait, Jack. That's our wizard. Yeah, dude, if that Cuda comes, this is what we're using, bro. That's a huge bait. This is what we're gonna use. Nice piece of wire. That's all we're gonna do. So that thing comes by, we're gonna toss it just like that. It's gonna hit the water, it's gonna go down. Pretty much the biggest bait that he can eat out of there, it'll be worth his time. That's what you wanna do. You wanna have a bait that's gonna stick out. You don't wanna blend in. Dude, look at all the glass minnows. So bro. many glass minnows, look at that. That's we got nuts. heavy line on here, 60 pound. This thing means business, ladies and gents. Look at that bait. You know we're not playing games today. That's a meaty bait right there. Let's throw this thing in the water, let's get it going. Chum block, one, two, three bonitas, a jackhead, couple chunks of sardines. I'm gonna get more sardines in here and we're gonna catch something. Chris gonna start whipping? I'm gonna start fishing. You're gonna start whipping. I'm going fishing. You cannot believe no, You this. cannot ever capitalize. Where's the jack? Well, he's probably gone now. I probably- oh, yeah, brook, brook, brook. There's big jacks, big, big jacks. jacks. Two, of, two of them, two of them. I actually cannot believe this. Chris, are you kidding me, bro? Every time there's a fish around the dock, I do something stupid. There they are, they're out deep, they're out deep. Come on, come in and eat this. Come I actually cannot eat this. believe this. I cannot believe, look at Chris over there. I'm such a The guy a buckles ass. every time. Tip every wrapped or something. I'm not even kidding I you. I think they wanted your lure because they don't care about my dead bait. I don't think you're getting that out. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, nice work. I'm so dumb. Like literally I have a 100% success rate as, at, of as f***ing up when there's a jack. All right, well that's a good sign. That's been probably about 15 minutes of waiting. Literally not long at all. Not long that's at all. That's what happens when you jump for two days prior. Two jacks, big ones, right at the dock. I'm gonna get them on this thing. Chris I had them. I cannot believe I buckled. Like, you caught the rope, <laughs> the rope. God, I, I have 100% success rate at failure. Is that pop? Does that even make sense? Success it rate at failure. Me. So Chris is figure eighting right now. It's, it's a method arms. that literally is at, looks really stupid, but it's actually super productive. Look at all the commotion going on. The fish are gonna be like, what the heck's going on? And then he's got his lure like just beyond his rod tip. And honestly, after seeing those big jacks, again, It'll work. They'll uh, they'll come smoke it. Really big sweeping. You can see the eight. See it? See the eight? You're doing a great job over there, Chris. Yeah, I just get eight right here. Good form. No, dude, I'm telling you, dude. If you come. ever have a big fish fall your lure and you can't reel anymore because you're basically at your rod tip, you start figure eighting until you get that thing to bite. It's a good strat. It's a great strat. Hold on, guys. <sighs> Stuck now on the bottom of my dock. There we go. Bye. I'm so good at fishing. 
guys, the very first huge fish just showed up. It's a massive kuda, like the size of this one we have right here. He just saw him, I just saw him right over here in the dark. Is it the Hopefully. one we saw last time? I think so, yeah. I, hopefully he's gonna come over here. We've been hunting this fish for freaking ever, dude. Oh my God, there he is. He's on it. He's on it. He ate it. Let him eat it. Damn. Let him eat it. Let him eat it, and then you gotta stick him hard. He's Jack, on. every time. Oh my God. Oh my God. He just got a free meal. He ain't eating again. Oh, I didn't hook him though. I didn't hook him. I didn't hook him. He went underneath the dock. That is the worst case scenario that can happen. He swam right underneath That's the dock. That's where he lives. He is obviously going to go home. You got to go to your home. You get a nice cheeseburger. Where do you go? Home. You pick it up at McDonald's right. you and you home. take it home. Exactly. Oh my God, Jack. Dude, that thing was massive. Somebody's got to fire the dock me. monster. We've I'm waiting hunting. to get fired. I'm waiting to get fired. No, no, I'm already fired. I've been fired. <laughs> Literally. I suck at this job. <laughs> okay, I can't catch a fish in my life. God dang it, hopefully. I'll catch the first fish of the day right now though. All right, good, please do. Perfect, perfect. I You've crushed. got a lot, you've got a lot. I crushed. You've got a lot, See, oh my God. I can throw it, dude. That's the most I've ever caught. Dude, that's 200. That's the most I've ever caught. First fish of the day goes to fish guy, Chris. None guild. I think I win the challenge, most fish caught. Let's go, let's go. Look at that, all alive. There's so All many. alive. That's so epic. There's so many. I could feed the whole fam now. God, I'm just, I can't get that out of my head. I'm replaying the barracuda eating it. All right, you guys want to see a fish go crazy? I just caught all these glass minnows here, literally hundreds. I'm going to dump all of them in this pond and watch them go nuts. Ready? Look at them all go. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh my God, there's so many, dude. Holy cow. They have food for days. <laughs> food for days. Look at them both. Oh my God, he just blew up on that one. They love these guys. When I throw them in here, they get to mess around with some live food for a bit and just enjoy it. Look at that. Look at that school right there. That's where the glass minnows go when I catch them. They go in here, they go in the shark pond. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're happy. Th those are some happy fish right now. Please God help me here. Oh, oh my God. Here we go, Brooke, 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 here we go. Oh, he was about to eat it. Here he comes, here he comes. Brooke, he's going right to my bay. He's about to eat it. He just put it in his mouth. He just put it in his mouth. There it is. Come on, Jack. I got him. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Can't let him get to the dock. Look at that big boil. Right there, there he is. I see him. Oh my God, he's a monster. He's a monster. We've got him. Get him in, Jack, come on. First, first big fish of the day. See what happens when he swims out to the middle? Yep, you can I can actually hook set. You, can, you gotta give him a little dance to the drone. Heads up, it's okay. Oh, oh, he's underneath the bow, that's it. No, we're good. He's fighting. Yeah, he's fighting hard. We got him. Is this the Megalodon? Or he's right here. No, he's decent though. He's fighting hard. I don't think we can catch anything bigger than this. No, we can, dude. Don't ever, die. oh, he's big. He's big, dude. No, he's big. He ate that Jack chunk on the bottom. Oh, he's fighting hard, dude. Let's go. Oh, we've got him on. Oh my God. Thank, Thank God. you, God. I knew I was going to get fired if I didn't hook this one. Yeah, no, you were for sure fired. Next up is shark. We're going small to big fish. I caught glass minnows. Now we're on the cuda. We need a giant jack or a big shark. There he is, Brooke. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, you're done. Oh my God, jack. jack. Oh, now that's it. Got to play him. Got to play him smart. Bring him to the left. Bring him to the left. Let's go. That's a nice one. Look, you can see his bright, shiny body in the water. He's going underneath the dock. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh my God, he's huge. That's a good one, dude. He's hooked perfect. Oh my God, He's hooked dude. perfect. That thing is a monster. Right, I'm going to put him up on the dock. Bring him up Look at dock. how he's hooked. He's literally perfect. Chris, take the rod. Oh yeah, I won't mess this up. <sighs> we got him. We got him. He's huge. He's so fat. He is so fat. He's actually so fat, dude. Oh my God. He's heavy. Uh, easy boy. Easy big boy. He's so fat. Uh, yeah! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! We Let's got go. him. He beat us one time. He didn't beat us again. You guys can see how fat he is. Show the drone. Yeah! Let's go. Let me get that plier. Get the hook out. Got it, slipper here. Okay, easy big boy. Got it. Jack. There he is. He's fat as can be. Look at that gut hanging down there. 
This boy right here is super fat. What a beauty. Ah, a big one, dude. He's fat. I think this is a resident barracuda we have here in the canal. And I think we definitely should let this one swim off. Oh yeah, absolutely. For sure. Look at those teeth. Get up in there. You see that right there? We got him. He beat us one time, but you don't beat the, you don't beat the fish guys twice. I'll tell you that. That's a big it's boy. Fine. He's probably gonna have a lot of life left. Look at that thing. That's an absolute killing machine here. Scrap eater. Ate a bunch of jacks. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is beautiful. Give her a second. Kick that boy. tail back and forth just like that. Gets that lactic acid kind of moved out. And as you guys can see, he'll start kicking on his own here. Look, see? There you go. He's about to go. Come on. I want to make sure she's really good. Come on. There you go. She's good. Let's she gone. Go. Oh, she was lit up, dude. She's right there. She's Beats. good. She's kicking. Woo! Let's go. First fish of the day. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. We need bigger ones now. <laughs> that was an Let's epic go. fight, dude. That was sick, dude. Such an epic fight. That was sick. Wow, we got the bird in the sky at the perfect time. Dude. Literally, perfect sun time. came out, everything happened. Perfect timing. That was the same one we hooked before. Same exact one we hooked before. You see, that one swam out. I was actually able to set the hook rather than the last one, I, I couldn't set the hook. I had to just let it swim off, put the pressure and hope with him swimming away that would drive the hook in him. But as you guys can see, we got our hook back. That thing's got no jewelry on him now. And he is uh, nice and fat, that's for sure. He's out, swam off real strong to fight another day. Guys, Daffy's here. If you guys have been watching my videos, Daffy is my resident duck that I, I care for and love her. She was here yesterday. Her name's Daffy Doc. Do you think it wants fish? Try to feed her yeah, a fish. No. Dude, I think dog food. I mean, I'm gonna try dog food because I feel like, you know, it's got some good nutrients in there. I think she'll like it. Let me see something. Try to feed her. You want some dog food? That's Daffy Doc, bro. I love her. She likes, she likes, that's huge, that's huge. That's dude, she huge. likes it. She loves it, dude. She's like, oh my God, what is this flavor? That's some gas. Look at her, she's chewing away. <laughs> she loves it, dude. That is my favorite doc. Dude, dog food. She's a resident duck. She comes once a day. She was here yesterday, but she got spooked because I gave her lettuce and she was like, what the hell are you feeding me? And she left. Yeah, she's a homie, bro. I love her. Here. All right, we've been pretty actionless since that barracuda. So it's time to get some more fresh chum in the water. We're gonna flay up this big, huge cuda here that we caught and uh, he's extremely fresh. This is actually from last week we caught this thing and I told you guys we were gonna use it, reuse it, and here we are today using it to call a big, huge shark. Plus all the fish that literally live here at the dock are gonna go ahead and eat this thing up real good. So gonna knock the sides off this thing quick get it in the water. We got the sides pretty much knocked off. We got ourselves some nice bait for when a fish does show up and this thing's gonna go in the water. Hopefully call us a big shark and feed all the pet fish we have at the dock here. There should be a saying that says, have, have skin like a barracuda. Cause they got some thick skin, dude. I can't cut through it. In life, you gotta have skin like a barracuda. Okay, add some of that in there, baby. Let's go. Fresh chump, fresh scent. We pretty much have reached the high tide here. As you guys can see, the water's like really high in the canal. The tide's been coming in ever since we started this and it's about to switch, which means all the water's gonna head back out to the ocean, which is gonna bring along the scent with it. So I think the best is yet to come, ladies and gents. Okay, I have one chance. Oh my God, hurry, hurry, hurry. He's yeah. eating, he's eating. Nice and slow, Go try going slow. Baby filefish, guys. Bring him out to the left more. <clears throat> Woo, good. <laughs> Good job, Chris. I mean, you couldn't get him in the worst spot. You had him in the worst freaking spot the whole time. So cold, my ass cheeks are fucking shivering. <laughs> Why is it so cold today? Holy moly, I'm releasing the beast. That smells so I'm releasing the beast. That smells terrible. That smells like You death. have so much chum in the net, bro. Yeah, I know, my net's ruined now. Whose oh, fault is that? Yours. We've been pretty actionless because we haven't been able to be outside filming due to the weather. It literally went from being like 85 degrees down to 70 degrees right now with a good breeze. We're Floridians, we're cold. That's freezing. All right, this is freezing for us. I'm freezing. I got my... double layered up on a freaking Wednesday right now and we're still camping out. We're still waiting for that shark. It's hard to see in the water. We got gloomy skies. Okay, we got gloomy skies you can't see in the water very well. I'm double cheeked up on a Tuesday. Major, Wednesday. Wednesday. We're still out here though, trying to stay warm. My it's butt cheeks are shivering, that's how cold it is out here. We're gonna here. have to go into the night. Look, look, look. No shark, no shark, big no shark right there. He just left. I see in the water. 
Here he comes. He's eating all the. He's eating the Deans. He's eating everything. See him, dude. The, the glare is so bad. Come on, come eat my bait. Come eat my bait. Can I do my fucking sunglasses? Look at him. He's on the big Cuda. Here he comes. He's about to eat my bait. He's gonna eat my bait right here. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't like my bait. He's right there. He just ate the Cuda. He's literally right there. He's wrangling that thing. You can't even see in this water, bro. He's right here. He's right here. He's right there. He's right there. He's literally right there. He's right there. Where's my bait? He's right there. There's no shark right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Right when we threw in the last bait of the day and we were gonna wait till nighttime, we saw a huge jack. Like I saw a giant jack. He's right here, he's right here. He's right on you. He's right on you, he's right on you. You guys can't even see in the water. He's literally eating all sardines. He's right there. He's not leaving, bro. There's so much food. Why is he not eating our bait? You no. gotta toss it good. There's so much bait in there, he doesn't know which one, he, he doesn't know. He's eating off the cuda. He's eating the cuda, yep. He's literally right there eating the cuda. There's Brooke. Thank God. Thank God, Brooke to the freaking rescue. That was the worst filming I've ever done in my life. Got the cuda, ow. Just broke my knee while doing that. Should I use the whole thing? Right under me, right under me, right under me, Jack, hurry up. Right under me, he's looking for cuda. You see him? Yep. The wire is going to kill me. Right, we literally were cleaning up, and Chris is like, like we're throwing the last bait yeah. in. He was like, you want me to know? I was like, you want to know what's about this bait? Here, and I threw it in the water. And I said, watch, now they're gonna come. Right when Jack threw it in, I said, watch, now they're gonna come. <laughs> Chris thought I was pulling his chain. He's walking inside. I'm like, dude, huge nurse shark. You're lying. Huge nurse shark. You thought I was lying about the Jack. I know, I know. Be lining it towards you. He felt your line. Come on, turn around, buddy. Come on, one more right, one more right, one more. There he goes. He got it. He hit it. Let no, him. No, he, he didn't. He didn't. He what? nudged it. He nudged it. He nudged it. He didn't need it. Oh my god, I thought it was locked. He nudged it. He nudged it. Leave it there. No, I want to flip it upside. Meet meet up. Meet side up. There we go. Meet side up. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think he didn't like. He didn't like the skin down. Got to have thick skin like Kuda. <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta have thick skin like Kuda, boys. Oh yeah. Of course he comes, goes to your bait, and it's skin up. There he is. Yep. Man, he's... Oh, now he's, he's eating the Dean. He just ate, no, he didn't. He's getting full. He's getting fucking picky. He's getting full, Jack. He just ate the Dean. He just swam off pretty fast there. He did, he did. That might be it. Like I mentioned, we are back out at night. We waited till the darkness, the pitch black darkness, because that nurse shark eluded us, but in this canal, there's a lot of fish because of all that chum we've been throwing in. So we're gonna catch some giants. That's our goal today. Catch some nice fish in my canal. And maybe we can hook another shark because there is bull sharks. My neighbor down the canal literally told me a couple months ago he saw a giant bull shark at his dock. Could be a liar, you never know. But First we'll of all it. though, we're dripped out. We are, we're dripped out in the brand new Into the Deep hoodies. They're absolute fire. The Straight the deep, fire, dude. Into the Deep hoodies are slapping. The best design, how to put it on the freaking hoodie, baby. Yeah, yeah, these are really nice. And it's kind of chilly out here today, so that's why we threw the hoodies on. Perfect. Perfect for the epic day of fishing we're about to have. See if we can break them in the right way. Big fish, baby, let's do it. Just a little bit down the canal. Finesse cry Chris here. Good cast. Where is it? Leave it there. Yeah, leave them. We see a lot of fish on these lights at night, especially right near close next to my canal. I can see fish. Oh. See him in the back? Got him. Oh, I had one, dude. I had one. He took my shrimp, dude. There Chris we go. has him. There we go. Gotta get him out of the dock, though. I think it's a mooner, baby. You still got him? There he is. Mooney? Nah, I think it's a snapper. Really? Is he fat? Oh my god. Oh my god. Patricia style. That's a stud, dude. Dude, turn the well on. If we can get a bunch of those, we're keeping them. Yeah, bro. So like these guys we can keep in the pond. This is a Dude, freaking stud jack. We're keeping that. The ones at my dock are not even half the size of this guy. That's a big boy. There's probably two or three of them back in there. They're probably bigger than this, but absolute beast of a fish. Jack, you're up. We're making this, uh, you know, every video is going to be a challenge now. Look at that guy. Dude. Such a stud, bro. We're throwing another shrimp there so we can Look get that. Look at that. Beauty. Let's get him in the well. You know what we call this? Grocery shopping, baby. That was two Fish guy Chris one, Jack zero, but I think we're gonna have a nice nifty battle here because there's some fish there. It's incoming tide right now, so that means the water's super clear. This is all ocean water. In the middle of the canal where there's not even lights, you can see all the way to the bottom. It's insane. Wicked clear. It's absolutely gnarly. I never have been out like this. There's a bunch of bait in the back there, a bunch of snappers in the back there. Some moonfish back there. We're just waiting for the moon to come out just a little bit more for those snook. 
But they're all sitting in the back. All Holy cow, look at all of them, dude. Shrimp. I think they're mangroves, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a mangrove. It's a mangrove. Another snapper, dude. Look how many snappers are on this light. Nice, That's Jack. a fatty. That's Chris, a fatty. dead another bait in this oh light. We're God, catching mama stud, dinner. Oh my God, that's a stud, dude. I think I might have Chris beat yeah, right now. That's a stud. That's dude. bigger. That's definitely bigger. That is such a nice snapper. So snapper, you can keep five per person. Snapper, you can keep five per person. And this is my favorite eating fish of all time. These things taste delicious. And mama is going to be happy when we bring some of these bad boys home. Or we can put them in the pond. Or we can put them in the pond. One or the other. That is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that line on the bottom of the towards the sand. It literally looks like a log. That is a snook. Oh, what do we got? Chris, you nice snapper. Another stud snapper. All right, guys, we had a Karen. Major Karen alert. We, we had to tell her, too. We had a major Karen alert that just t turned the lights off with all those snappers. I don't know if this is legal, Jack. I'm just going to let him back. Yeah, let him go. So this guy right here caught another nice snapper on their lights. There was two snook down there, but the Karens are going to Karen. And if you're a Karen in this world, don't be a freaking Karen, man. So don't let, be a let's, Karen. Let's, be a let's, fish let's, guy. Yeah, be a fish guy, dude. Don't be a Karen. Let's let this guy go. Ready? Watch this guy swim off. Later. Look how clear that water is, dude. That's nuts. All right, we just moved lights. We found a new set of them, and a lot of the times you gotta look like in the darkness. And this one's not even in the light. It's kind of really hard to see. He's in the shadow. Looks to be like a pretty nice size snook. Oh, there's another one that's going in the light. See, Chris? Yep, I see him. There we go. He's gonna smoke this. Or excuse my French, he's gonna smoke this. Watch this, Brooke. He's literally, I guarantee you, he's 100%. He's looking at us now. Looking at shrimp, he's looking, looking at for us. shrimp. He's coming right to us. He's right here. See him? Yeah. Watch this, come he's on. He's big, bro. If he sees it, he's gonna eat it. No, he went down. I think we need to do a chumming oh. only at night. I really think that's the key to catching the, the big sharks. Yeah, they, I agree. They do come to the dock during the day, but I think it might have to be a, how long is a week in hours? Four times seven is one, I mean, it's 28, so 148 hours. 148 hours. We need to chum the dock for 148 hours. Wait. Then there would be some crazy. 168 hours. Okay, 168. Whatever the math is. If we do that week straight, that would be insane. I'm oh. gassed. It's literally midnight. We chummed for three days straight. We almost caught that big shark. Let us know if you guys think we should chum for a week straight next time by dropping a like on this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Splush these engines, baby. Yeah, best time. Later.